Hey, good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Well, the batch of rain wasn't much north. It was really just drizzle and is now pushing east. So this is it. This is the only real chance of rain today. You can see it moving off to the east fairly quickly. Still got some heavy downpours uh, down towards the Columbia area, heading down towards Florence. But from Charlotte northwest, basically I-85 back into the mountains, uh, this is pretty much it. You can see that batch, back edge of the rain is pretty much right there uh, moving through Rockingham right now. I'm going to throw the temperatures on quick, but I want to show the surface obs because there is still some reports of drizzle in a few spots. But overall, uh, the rain is pushed off to the east, and we're seeing a significant uh, clearing trend taking place back here, which should allow for temperatures to warm up. Now, the larger view of this system, you can see today there is going to be severe weather to the southeast um, along this front here, but that's going to stay there. I think most areas here in the Carolinas will actually get a significant chance to dry out. But there will be a wave of low pressure that forms on that front that brings us more rain for Monday and will kind of be wedged in, which will give us some cool conditions. So let me quickly show you the future cast of over the next uh, 48 hours or so. So here's a look at the future cast. I'll put it into motion here. We'll go hour by hour here. You can see the rest of today looks pretty good here in the Carolinas. You see all the storms in the Southwest. Easter Sunday, we'll go into Easter morning. So I know a lot of folks will be at sunrise service which again is just before 7 a.m. local time. So I'll stop this at 7 a.m. We're looking at dry conditions across North and South Carolina. But here's what's heading our way Easter night into Monday. You can see the system here, there's more rain, but what's going on, a high pressure system is gonna develop to our North and that's gonna start pushing in some cooler, drier air to surface. You'll kind of feel this on Easter day. Uh, it'll be near 70, but it'll be really dry air. So what's gonna happen, the net effect of this is, as this rain starts to push east, that cold, dry air is dropping in. This is gonna try to ride up and over it. So it's gonna set the stage for one of those cold wedge setups. So we'll go through Easter Sunday, through the day. Again, I'm gonna stop this around noon. Eh, a few showers trying to sneak into the Southwest Mountains. So heads up there. As we go into the afternoon hours, not much makes it here. Could we see a stray shower south? There's a chance, but I'm going to keep it pretty low. This is around dinner time. So just a heads up, if you're in South Carolina, it might be something to keep an eye on. But you see it doesn't really amount to much. But as we go overnight into early Monday, you start to see the rain develop. So when we wake up Monday, this is 5 a.m. Monday morning, um, we go to 6, 7. This is going to be really wet. So, so Monday looks to be pretty soggy. And on top of all this, this is going to be a cold air mass over us because remember at the surface cold northeast winds are coming in so temperatures here might struggle to get out of the 40s the high is probably going to be whatever it is at midnight <laughs> you know basically monday morning then the temperature could fall as all that moisture moves in so let's go back and again look at the last or i should say the next stuff uh, 24 hours to 48 hours we'll kind of play this out rain is done for today a few sprinkles tomorrow late but monday looks to be the soggy day. Have a great Easter weekend, everybody. I'll post any updates if they should occur.